Hey, mathletes. This is the final lesson in this unit. It's called combinations. Well, we've been looking at permutations. A permutation is when order matters. So guess what? A combination is a selection. That's an important word where order is not important. That's all we need to think about. So our formula that's on our formula sheet looks like this. So there's n objects. I want r of them. C for combination. And it looks a lot like our formula for permutation because it really is, in a way, it's a permutation. But there's these other objects that we're going to get rid of the fact that the order doesn't matter with this extra r factorial. So it's just that little piece that makes it different than NPR. So here we go. Let's do a few questions. Let's get on to a different color here, purple. Consider the number of possible lottery tickets that can be created from Lotto 649. Okay, this is a combination because it doesn't matter the order, how they pull, there's 49 balls in the machine and you need to get all, they're gonna pull out six and you need to get all six to win the Lotto. I think that's how it works, I don't play this game. So order doesn't matter because the order the balls come out doesn't matter. So this is a combination. So this is, 49C6, that's the answer to B. How many ways could we do this? Okay, to get this in our calculator, so I'll pull up my emulator here. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I see my wife has left me a lovely message there. She's the worst. Okay, so if I wanna get this in my calculator, I'm gonna go 49 math over to probability and right there, NCR which is six. There it is, look at that. There's almost 14 million ways that you could play the lottery, which are different tickets that could be made from playing the lottery. Okay, there it is friends. That's how easy combinations are. Notice there's not a way to write this in fundamental counting principle method on a question like that. Okay, number two, in how many ways can 17 songs be selected from 38? Okay, so this word select, we don't see it all the time, but if we do, it means it's a combination. So this would be 38 C 17, whatever that happens to be, I don't really care. B, how is this different from the number of 17 song playlists that can be formed? Okay, I don't care for this question, my friends, but I do need you to know this. The word playlist means order matters. So I always think of a wedding, right? Like. You know, they play Here Comes the Bride or whatever at the beginning, and then they play, you know, the horrible YMCA at the end of the night. Like the order matters when they give it to the DJ. Um, so a playlist means order matters. So I need you to know that. I don't care for it. So this one would be 38 P17. Again, you can get that in your calculator. Let's look at one more here. A committee of seven people will be formed from a pool of 12 people including Steve and Nick. How many ways can this be done? Okay, so it's a committee of seven people. So order doesn't matter because I'm not assigning specific roles. So if there are no specific roles, it's a combination. If I was assigning someone roles like president, vice president, secretary, then it would be a permutation. So there's 12 people. I need seven of them, just like that. Okay, Steve and Nick must be on the committee. Okay, well, order doesn't matter how I get Steve and Nick. There's two of them and I need both of them. Then I say to myself, well, and I need five more people. I need five more people and means multiply. Well, how many people are left? Well, there were 12 people to select from and I selected two already. so. 10C5. Again, you just put that in your calculator and you're good to go. And if Steve and Nick must not be on the committee. Okay, well, if they must not be on the committee, well, there's two of them and I don't want either of them to select zero. And there's still 10 people left and I need seven of them. There it is. 
and C7. So do you see how fast these combination questions are as soon as you recognize it's a combination? All right, in a group of 11 CBE employees, there's four ed assistants and seven teachers. We're gonna make a committee, determine the number of possible committees. So again, there's no specific role. I'm not assigning someone to president, vice president, secretary. So it's a combination. So this would be 11 C5. B, determine the number of possible five person committees that consist of two ed assistants and three teachers. Okay, so for my EAs, there's four of them and I need two. And I need my teachers. Well, there's seven teachers and I need three of them. There it is. Okay, and again, whatever that is when you put it in your calendar. Okay, it's so the last one that I wanna focus in on here. Determine the number of possible five or four people committees. So, well, five person committees. There's 11 people, I need five of them. Four person committee, 11 C4. No specific roles, it's a combination. But this word or, we should have learned in set theory means add. So or means we're gonna add. So again, notice the difference between B and C. When I say the word and, it's multiply. When I say the word or, it's add. Okay, I want you to watch for that, it's important. Okay, last question, friends. Student Council of Five is to be formed from a selection pool of, what do we got, eight grade 11s and nine grade 12s. How many committees could have all grade 12s? Okay, well, again, order doesn't matter because there's no specific roles. 9C5, done. We want four grade 12s and one grade 11. So what I like to do is I like to label them like that. Okay, I want four grade 12s. Well, there's nine grade 12s. How many grade 11s are there? There's eight grade 11s, I need one of them. I need grade 12s and grade 11s, so I'm gonna multiply, just like that. Okay, not bad. Last one. At least four grade 12 students. At least four grade 12. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, I could have four grade 12s, or I could have five grade 12s, because it's a five-person committee, okay? So that means 9C4, or means plus 9C5. Now, what did I miss? This happens all the time on this question. What did I miss? What I missed was in this first one here. If there's four grade 12s, I'm missing a grade 11. I need five people on my committee. So I need to watch for that missing, make sure I've always got everyone accounted for. Okay, there it is. So again, you're going to start seeing the words at least or at most in these questions. All right, the final, final question. How many games are necessary in a tournament of 30 teams where each team must play each other once? Okay, in a tournament, everyone's gonna play each other once. This is the same, my friends, as saying, how many handshakes could there be? Because the order that we play games and the order that we shake hands, if we ever shake hands again when COVID's done, um, order doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if I say the Flames are playing the Oilers or the Oilers are playing the Flames, doesn't matter because they're both awful, nobody cares, but it doesn't matter, the order doesn't matter. So how many objects are there? There's 30 teams. How many teams do I need to play a game? Two, there it is. That's the same as saying how many handshakes would there be if there were 30 people in the room? That's it, okay? Easy, easy peasy, so handshakes. So again, combination means order doesn't matter. And I'm looking for things like non-specific roles. I'm not assigning you president, vice president, secretary, okay? Versus a permutation where I am assigning a role. There it is, my friends last video in this unit.